You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 68 of The Path to Paris. Now we're going to start this episode off by jumping into our trade pile and as you can see we have managed to sell everything including that Lam that we made a decent amount of profit on, Cesc Fabregas, Lavezzi and Cruz. So we're now sitting on 1,052,000 coins so we finally hit the million coin mark but as you saw in the last episode Ibrahimovic is like 1.15 million so we still got some trading to do. Obviously then we have to start looking at the team of the year Ibrahimovic is all of his informs and the informal Vetsi, informal Matuidi, and all the other stuff that we have to trade towards. We've got a free season ticket pack. Will we finally get something in one of our free season ticket packs? No, we won't. We got a non rare gold 76 rated player. That is not good. I was really hoping for something big there, but apparently we are never going to get anything in our season ticket packs. Now, if you're looking to buy some ultimate team coins, go check out futcoinking.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast and reliable coin service. Use the code CAP5 at checkout. So here we go. We're going to dive in two our first game of the episode. We haven't been beaten in Division 1 yet. If we manage to win this game, it will be five unbeaten games in this division. He's using a full, well, I thought it was a full English uh, team at first glance, but he's actually got Marin Flaney, he's got Company and Clichy in there as well, but he has um, Teddy Sheringham up front, so it's quite a dangerous squad, but I remember thinking that I didn't even see Teddy Sheringham in the game. I didn't realise he had them on the pitch until that screen came up. Um, it was actually Welbeck that gave me all the trouble in this game, and you can see that we took the lead early on through Lovetsy, nice goal from him. Then we managed to extend our goal, or our lead to two with Cavani. Lovely little dink, uh, sort of towards or around the side of the goalkeeper. As he went down to try and grab it, it just went over his hands and into the back of the net. He did manage to get back into the game for a Fellaini header. But, uh, you know, we just kept on pressing and it really did work out for us because we just, you know, managed to score more and more goals. You can see here we end up getting awarded a penalty, uh, trying to skill our way into the box and we get completely blocked off. And Cavani's going to be the one that steps up and take this. Will he manage to convert? Yes, indeed he will. So it's now 3-1 and uh, we're looking pretty healthy and we just kept on going. You can see here Lucas gets away using that pace. Will he score? No, he won't. He'll try and tramp it across, but actually, Kulker ends up putting it into the back of his own net in hilarious fan it fashion. So there you go. It's 4-1 at this point, and uh, the game's pretty much over. You can see that I get another one, though. Matawidi doing some good work, and this is probably the best goal of this game easily. Lovely skill run from Menez, who eventually just manages to slide it past Joe Hart and into the back of the net to make it 5-1. After that, he just ended up time-wasting, not giving me any more chances. He actually ended up scoring an own goal as well. You can see there, Kulker getting another own goal in the 90th minute so made him rage but not enough to actually rage quit and you can see now we're 5-0 in the division with a 6-1 result there that's exactly what we need now we're going to go back into the arena you can see the stats for the players Menez is back as our top scorer with 155 goals um, Cavani is close behind him with 152 assist wise we have Menez at the top Lucas Cavani you know we've obviously got the attacking players they're getting all the assists it's uh, well it's strange that Lovetsy hasn't you know sort of managed to catch up with those boys yet yeah, you think that he would be able to get quite a few assists but apparently not um, obviously going to look to him to maybe you know get a few more goals and a few more assists in the next couple of episodes but you can see that we're going into another division game and we're playing up against a 4-1-2-1-2 squad uh, Bundesliga and it's mainly Borussia Dortmund except for Elia on the left mid position and uh, my defence it just parted like the Red Sea I was absolutely fuming I won't lie I don't understand why that happened apparently it did and then I just knew that this was going to be a goal as soon as my players couldn't clear it it just fell to him and of course Lewandowski managed to convert it to make 2-1 then things went from bad to worse as my goalkeeper comes out to collect the ball Lewandowski is there first and the goalkeeper takes him out which obviously means he does have a penalty and it could mean that we are 3-1 down or uh, 3-0 down and it does indeed mean that we are now at pretty pretty much out of the game I did go ultra attacking but it actually proved to be more detrimental and that just summed up the game you saw there Thiago Silva's miscontrol of the ball ends up knocking it out in front of him Elia jumps on the chance and of course finishes it so there you go 4-0 result and that is the end of our unbeaten streak in the division but we're still hopeful that we can push forwards and hopefully win the division. Obviously, that is worth 15,000 coins if we can manage to do that. And we only need to get eight points from four games. So that's three wins, basically, or two wins and two draws, one of the two. Now, we've done some trading, and I'm really struggling with trading at the moment. I don't know what you guys are, you know, on the web app, it's almost impossible. I try and search for a player, it crashes. I try and search for a player, it comes up with nothing. I try and search for a player, it comes up with, like things every three minutes like for an hour it's just like what on earth is going on with the web app but we did manage to pick up two bargains first off we got a team of the year um 
who was it? Team of the Year Lam for 376, listing mark for 440k. That's really, really good pro profit after tax. Probably about 40k we managed to sell him. And also a cruise that we picked up for just about 100k and we're selling him on for 113. So good profit. Now I went and did a wager match. 50,000 coins is on the line. It's against the subscriber. And he's using a 41212 squad, um, the actual second formation for 41212. He has Lu um, he has Suarez and Kone up front, and we all know what a, a non-rare beast Kone can be. So um, I was kind of worried about this squad. I was hoping that I would be able to, you know, um, show my worth and, you know, win this game. And we did take an early lead. It was against the run of play, though. I knew this guy was good from the outset. He was closing me down well. I just couldn't, or I didn't have any time on the ball. And seconds after I managed to score... Um, that is Markinos. That is awful, awful defending. In fact, it might have been Thiago Silva there that made the mistake. Really horrendous stuff from him the, to not track that run. Um, you know, I had him selected. I was running before the ball was eaten, basically as soon as it was played, maybe even before because I knew it was coming. And he just didn't didn't do anything. We managed to save a penalty, though, to keep ourselves in it. But eventually, our defence did crumble again. As you can see, Cathola going through and managing to score a nice roulette. And uh, I was fuming because I just, I just had no nothing I couldn't do anything against this guy probably the best player I've actually ever played in a wager and as you can see for the second time I threw my controller across the room as Fellaini managed to make it 3-1 I was all out attacking at that point and it was a bit of a BS corner anyway but it wouldn't have mattered either way because you know it was 3-1 2-1 it doesn't matter a loss is a loss you can see that we have managed to sell the alarm for 440k though which is a bit of or a stroke of luck which means that we do have um, 997,000 coins once Cruz sells we should have about the 1 million and 100,000 mark but obviously we have to go and pay up for this wager so there you go we're down to 947 so we're actually going to be exactly where we were at the start of this episode when the next episode rolls around and that cruiser sells so guys I hope you've enjoyed the episode sorry it wasn't more impressive on the gameplay front sorry we didn't make more progress in the series but that's the risk you got to take when you're playing wagers um, subscribe if you're new to the channel but I'm not I'm going to have to leave it there and I will see you all next time